Hi everyone, I'm a new Catherine fertility physician and Dr. Mom, and here to educate on fertility. I often get the question on social media, how do I increase my progesterone naturally? So I thought this would be a good video topic to discuss. So let's tackle this topic today. <music> with why is progesterone important. It's important to have a good understanding of the menstrual cycle when you're trying to conceive. I have done a video on this and I will link it here. But basically to summarize what happens is a follicle with a microscopic egg within it will start to grow at the beginning of a cycle. Once it reaches a certain size and a certain level of estrogen is reached, the body will tell the follicle to release the egg in a process called ovulation and the egg and sperm will later hopefully meet. What happens to that follicle after ovulation is that it collapses and becomes what's called a corpus luteum, and it will continue to produce estrogen and progesterone. This estrogen and progesterone is important to support a theoretical later pregnancy. So this is why progesterone is important when we're trying to conceive. The question to ask is not actually, how do I increase my progesterone naturally, but it's how do I improve the dynamics of the cycle to ensure ovulation is occurring? This is basically ovulation dysfunction. Now, there are many causes to ovulation dysfunction, PCOS, premature ovarian insufficiency, diminished ovarian reserve, hypothalamic amenorrhea, thyroid dysfunction, prolactin dysfunction. So what is important to do is to see a physician to get a workup to determine the cause of ovulation dysfunction so that it can be appropriately treated. So I hope after this video, you can understand that giving progesterone to a patient that has a low progesterone is not going to solve the problem, is not going to help with the dynamics of the cycle with that follicle growth and the release of the egg. So that is what's important. So again, seeing a physician, identifying the cause of ovulation dysfunction and getting the appropriate treatment is what's important. Sometimes clomid and letrozole can be used to improve the cycle dynamics, but again, it depends on the individual patient and their individual workup. Other things that are always important to do otherwise are healthy lifestyle, diet and exercise, maintaining a healthy BMI, avoiding smoking, alcohol, drugs, and minimizing caffeine, and taking a prenatal vitamin. That is it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, I hope you'll give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe down below. If you have comments or questions, you can leave them for me there also. Thank you again so much for watching and see you in the next video.